Hey guys, it's Take Your Base. I'm your host, Lava Rihanna. Brought to you by Four Corner Sports. Alright, guys, so. Man, I know news broke out yesterday. But. Sad news if you're a Mets fan. Yeah, I'm wearing a Mets. I'm wearing a Mets t shirt jersey. You know, my back. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's Jacob the Grom. And the Grom ended up signing with um, the Texas Rangers for five years, 185 million, with a six-year option. Uh, six-year option is up to, is 37. That six-year will be 37, and I think yeah, 37 flat million dollars. Um, the Grom is 35. You know, he wanted to, you know, the beginning of 20, uh, 2022, saying that he was going to opt out, you know, and the man, what's it called, has had a, a lengthy history of uh, injuries, right? Um, he was pretty dominant in his time with New York, and um, as a Met fan, I mean, I wanted him to say, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, does it hurt? Yeah, to some extent, I mean, it doesn't hurt like others, which doesn't make any sense in this in a sense because um the grom has been you could put him up there as one of the be- one of the better um mets to put on a met uniform i mean homegrown you know drafted um when came up through the farm system and um what was it 2014 made his debut <coughs> or was, i don't know it was 14 13 won the rookie of the year made the all-star team you know, blasting people, you know, in that one inning. I think that's when the, what was it called, the All-Star game was in Minnesota or Cincinnati, one, one of the two. Um, and Joe Buck says that this is Jacob DeGrom. He is here to dominate baseball for a very long time. And when Joe Buck said it, you know, people probably didn't, you know, read the tea leaves, but, you know, he was here to dominate baseball for a very, very long time. Um in his time here, we've made we've had three playoff appearances. Um, one of those playoff appearances, we made the World Series. Um, Degrom, you know, in his final start was a playoff game at City Field, where that's the only game that we won. All right, um, in that um, in the new wild card round, where you win two games and you move on. All right, and all three games were at City Field, and the Mets. Um, only one that their only game when Jacob Degrom took them out, and Jacob Degrom was phenomenal. All right, um, Degrom won. What's it called? Is, is Cy Youngs in 2018 and 2019? 2018, I believe that was his best year ever. He had a 1.85 ERA. I mean, that's unheard of. I mean, he was dominating. You know, batters striking out that the man had stuff and every year he just started to get better and better with that fastball adding more velocity to it which we just, to this point i still don't understand how you're able to add more velocity as you get older all right and become more dominant okay um he was becoming more of a fastball slider type of pitcher you know um but um yeah he went to call the last couple stars in 2022 we saw him digress a little bit, and that's one reason why, like, to me, it doesn't hurt that bad knowing that um, he's going to be signed with the Rangers is just because he had the arm injury, you know, his, his, his elbow injuries, right? You know, the the fact that he's been away from the, for the team, you know, you know, injuries just take him away. The man hasn't pitched 200 innings in almost three years, all right? Um, I understand the 2020 season, 2021, and 2022, all right? Um, no, so there'll be three years, you know. You know, the, the man has, you know, the man has pretty much pitched a 200 inning season or at least like a 180 something um, pitch season since he ended up winning the Cy Young back in 2019. All right, that's a long time ago. All right. Um, the Grom was after the money, which I completely understand. But well, one thing that kind of did bother me was just that the Grom. Never, I mean, Mike Kuma put it out there in a the post, and then it was confirmed. You know, you had your um, Andy Martinez of the world putting it out, putting it out there that 
DeGrom never gave the Mets a final offer and um, never or the opportunity of a final offer. And it just seemed like DeGrom wanted out. You know, there was rumors. There was, you know, chirpings of DeGrom wanting to go to Atlanta. Atlanta, you know, wasn't going to be able to sign him. They want to retain their own, which is Dan V. Swanson at shortstop. I mean, that man is a stud, right? And he's going to demand every dollar possible. Um, and Atlanta's not in, in a situation where they're going to want to, you know, match dollar for dollar with, like, the Mets, okay? Um, they're a publicly owned team, all right? So we'll be able to know where their spending is at and, like, their their profits are at, all right? Um, Steve Cohen is the richest owner in baseball, all right? And he, you know, doesn't is not afraid to, you know, spend the extra money, the extra dollar, all right? Fortunately, just didn't have the chance, but I don't think the Mets were going to give, you know, the Grom that type of a contract five years, 185 million. You know, Texas is desperate, all right? Texas, they had a new ballpark. They added Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager last year, all right? Now they added, you know, their own their own ace right now and Jacob DeGrom. DeGrom is 35. He had the five-year deal. By the time that contract ends, he's going to be 40. My question is the injury aspect. You know, it's a huge risk to give somebody that many years, right? And that was very that was possibly very appeasing. Another reason why DeGrom probably left, New York's not for him. I mean, the man, you know, comes out to the song Simple Man by Leonard Skinner, right? You know, if you're a part of New York, you know, you live in New York. New York's not a simple city. It's the bright lights, you know, the media, the attention, the action, all that type of stuff, right? He just wanted to stay, stay low key, go to Texas. All right, um, man's from what's it called, North Florida or something like that. Grew up a Braves fan. That's probably why he wanted to go down south. And for him to go down to to Texas, I mean, look, no state income tax is one of the few states in this country that doesn't have any state income taxes. So whatever money that he makes, the majority of it is his. He doesn't have to pay like a thirty percent. Um, he doesn't have to give away thirty percent of his of his earnings to you know the state because new york new york's you know what to call the state income taxes are outrageous all right well um it's us in california but anyways i mean degrom going um yeah it's a loss i mean the man will give you honestly good tw 20 good starts if, if that all right each time that he's healthy he's in a but you know put you in a position where you can win my only concern is Will DeGrom get better as he is in the Texas Rangers uniform? Or will he still be the same? Is he going to have the same injury um, you know, that he had in New York? Is that going to be carried down to Texas? A lot of eyeballs are going to be on Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom is going to be in Texas, but you know, people are going to want to know. Did Texas make the right move on giving him such a big contract? Now, um, from what it seems like in the Met organization, you know, Steve Cohen doesn't seem like he's losing sleep after losing the Grom. He was like, "All right, you know, on to the next person." You know, we couldn't get him. We're gonna, we can't just stagger around and count our losses. We gotta move on, and I think that's the right move. I think they should go after Carlos Rodon. I understand the Mets want to get Justin Verlander. All right, um, on a, I know Verlander asking for a three-year deal. I would give Verlander a one-year deal at max two years and then cut your losses after that i mean i don't trust pitchers past the age of 40 all right and i think what's it called verlander is the anomaly all right man want to sign young but i just don't think that it's a smart move to give verlander that much money um i understand if you're steve Cohen, you want to win now but i think be wise on what you're going to be spending your money on. I think Rodon would be the better option. I understand that he was healthy last year. And I understand that his injury pass is a little bit checkered. I would go with him. Verlander, I mean, he's getting older. I mean, how many more more miles is, does he have left on that arm? Um, what are you going to do with Brandon Nimmo? Do you bring him back? I mean, he's with Scott Boris. He's definitely going to ask for a lot. Um you have Trey Turner out there, all right? Um, you also have, um, what's it called, um, Tyler Walker, free agent. Do you bring him back? I would actually bring him back. The man has been pretty productive in a Mets uniform. I think he can get even better, okay? I think, you know, him pitching more innings, 
you know, back to back years is is only getting him stronger and stronger with that arm. Um, but I do think that the Mets are gonna get, you know, be pretty well this off season. I don't think that they're gonna have the big flashy, you know, what's it called, signings. But a healthy team with a healthy starting Marte, you know, and what's it called, um, Francisco Alvarez. I do believe they find a way of trading James McCann just so they could shred more money off the payroll and they can use that and make smarter decisions on boosting up that bullpen. I think the Mets will be okay. It just sucks losing Jacob DeGrom. The man is maybe the second best pitcher and if not the third best pitcher in the organization's history. But yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to talk about. Until then, guys, I am Flavio Rihanna. Thank you for tuning in to Flavio Rihanna. Um, what's it called? To uh, take your base. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys, and have a good one. See you.